welcome back to Built by Design. Now that you understand how to turn sketches into 3D, I'm going to show you some new shortcuts and ways to do that even faster. So I'm going to open up a new document here. And the first one that I'm going to highlight is Box Tool. So what I do is when I select Box, it will take me directly into the sketch environment where I can then create a box. So I'm going to choose this plane, select the plane, then just like uh, when you're sketching a box, on a normal sketch plane, do that, select the box, and after you sketch, it's going to automatically bring you into push-pull. You don't have to stop sketch and then press push-pull. It'll bring you straight into it. Then I can extend the box to whatever distance I would like. Click OK, and there I go. I already have 3D geometry, so it's a really fast shortcut to uh, box and rectangle features. Um, there's also the cylinder feature. This acts very similarly to the box feature. I just select the origin of the cylinder that I want, click that, and then with cylinder, just like with box, you can actually cut as well if you go back into a physical object, or you can build. So we're going to build out with that right there, and there we go. So that's the cylinder and box functions there right here and here. Um, the next thing uh, that I recommend, and this is really going to save you a lot of time, is that you use a mouse with a scroll wheel. Uh, don't use a trackpad. Uh, this is with a scroll reel you're going to open up a lot of opportunities for shortcuts and make uh, designing CAD a lot faster and more efficient. So the first of those shortcuts is pan. The way that you pan is by holding down the scroll wheel and moving and then you can just move around. So the other way that you would be able to pan is you'd have to go down here, click that, and now you can click with a normal left click and pan around but then you have to go out of it and it's by pressing escape and it's really arduous and, and wastes a lot of time. So being able to quickly go in and pan like that is a lot is a really big um, time saver. The other one with the scroll wheel is scrolling in and scrolling out. So you can zoom in and zoom out of your part uh, and multiple parts really fast, really efficiently and really easily. So, and final with those shortcuts is Holding down shift and then holding down your scroll wheel at the same time brings up the orbit function. So this is so that you can orbit around the part, get different view of it, and so on. The other way that you can do this is by going up to this top circle here, um, this top little square, sorry, and just ro clicking and rotating it around, it'll do the same thing. So we're actually gonna go home. And then the final function that is the big time saver and big shortcut uh, within Inventor Fusion is right clicking. So if I right click, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this menu. It has a couple things that are always going to be on there, press, pull, hold, tweak faces, sketch, and then these things down here. The ones in the menus I really don't find very useful because you can almost get to them faster just by going up to the top. But the most of the ones I find really useful right here are the press, pull, the hole, and the tweak faces. Being able to get to that immediately and really fast is great. Also, this top function is always going to be the repeat. So whatever function you use last, whether that's whole cylinder, new sketch, dimension, line, whatever, uh, that's right where it's going to be and you can get back to it really fast. So if I want to make another cylinder, because cylinder was the last function I used, I can click on that and automatically brings me into creating another cylinder. I'm actually going to use this to cut, and there we go. So that's it for the shortcuts and functions. Thanks for watching.